So reloading is done. This is what you see. This is a default sexy map look. No tracking with the middle mouse button. And if you press the right button, it will show the setup menu. The only thing the problem here is you can't change the position of the screen. So you have to go out again. In my case, put it to the side. What we have here, clamp on the screen so you can Prevent the minimap from being moved off the screen. Okay. You can see. It will also be always be grabbable. Rotate minimap or keep it with a sticky. Okay. It only <laughs> it only works when it's in the direction, it seems. I don't know. Probably just something small right click configure yes we did that also improving the scale enough to three times this one so we're gonna put it at double the scale show nortag it's only necessary with a rotating one otherwise you're gonna have a double north see and everybody knows the top of the screen is the north direction I use rotate auto zoom delay if you go in it will zoom out automatically like the rest and for the options borders you can hide the default border see it was already hidden so first I'm going to show you uh, the presets you have the blue rune circles that's this one a diamond so it will wipe out all my current settings so this is the diamond blue square uh, square glow see I don't like the square mini maps because you get empty empty space to the sides burning sun sounds fancy looks fancy especially when you're a blood elf in my opinion clouds you got a lot of them. Not going to show you all. I like Rogue. Where's Rogue? Here's Rogue. Rogue is a nice one. Clean. You can see here it's already enabled hoovering to show all of your uh, buttons. And Simple Square, one I'm currently using with a little bit of tweaking. Going to show you the default one current. You can see we have the borders, background edge. See that's disabled, so you don't have the square. You you can use this, and then change the opacity, and put all your add-on buttons inside the square. That's a possibility. You can also change the background texture. You have to change the opacity and then uh, the backdrop color. Requires a little bit of adjustment. Tile background doesn't work on every scale, it seems. So you can make it fit any user interface you have. Border texture the same you can choose party see it resets the look we had uh, blizzard tooltip dialogue gold dialogue normal chat bubble achievement doesn't matter what you pick fade it's the these three uh, fade rune one and rune two can easily show them by let me see can change all this blend to normal you see it it's uh, the light beams coming off of it add blend so that's nice looking you can change the rotation speed you can make it rotate very fast 
how you don't see this one, static rotation. It's this one, that's why you don't see it. Let's try another one. Come on, where is it? Ah, it's this one. I was looking at the outer, outer ring. See? You can make it spin very fast. Until you get nauseous. And also the scale. Let's just start with a clear one. See, you <laughs> can put up anything you want. You can <laughs> change the minimap to Route 66 or a snowflake. Or the rounded ones, square, faded square, circle. Doesn't matter what you want, it's there. Let's go to a preset, get the simple square, you can play around with it as much as you want to, let's check the buttons, drag radius, we'll drag them out and like with the others, you can drag them in a square, if I go off the square, doesn't, I can't pull it with me. What do you got? Uh, standard buttons. Oh, gonna change the drag radius. So, show calendar always. It's nice to set that up. Show map button. Show tracking button. Zoom in button. You can you can keep those. It's not necessary. Okay, standard buttons. You can pull these all around the edge. Gives you a nice clean feel of the minimap then you got dynamic buttons the ones that show up when it's needed challenge mode dungeon difficulty you can do all of the same for these ones the only problem is there is no configuration menu so you can't uh, set these up in advance you have to be like uh, in a dungeon queue or something like that to change it and add-on buttons you can also change that when you have add-ons installed then the clock you can change the position don't know if you can drag it let me see no can only change the position show the clock on hoover if you want to can change the font size you can make it bigger and the position coordinates you can enable coordinates same font size this one you can drag most people like to play with their coordinates with their coordinates uh, where they can see them you can log them change font color background color border color and change the style uh, the only thing you can change is the precision so you can only have dot you only have like here 76.5 and not 543 movers enable movers that's quest tracking vehicle seat armored man and then you can lock them again it's just a few nice features it's not like move anything where you can change everything and then also show who pinged and show inside chat see or show on the minimap so you can see my name pop up if I use it the only downside you can't change the position to show who pinged because now it's within the zone the zone text so the zone text you can change that's not a problem horizontal vertical you can drag it you can change the font text width because otherwise the words can be shortened the font size color background color border color everything more of the same
that's it for sexy map if you're into this stuff uh, you can change a lot or you can just choose a preset easy just gonna show you shamanism use that on my shaman for a few weeks emerald portal for druids you can choose what you like no problem next up carbonite maps 